What's up guys? I'm coming to you with another reading vlog. I'm really excited for this one because this has been super anticipated for a long time. I'm not the only one, obviously, but I'm going to read The Viscount Who Loved Me. If you saw my thumbnail, you would have known that going into this and that's probably why you're watching it. I love Bridgerton. I have read the first book, The Duke and I. I have not read the second book. So this is going to be my first time. And I've seen the first season of Bridgerton, so I know all that happens in it. I love it. And I'm hoping that the smut factor is the same in the second. So really looking forward to that. I'm really excited to see a pining hero and a love triangle at the same time, especially between sisters. That's one of my favorite tropes. I just love when there's confliction between the hero and he's like, who should I pick? And usually I'm hoping he picks who I want him to be with. <laughs> so that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm getting ready to start that. I'm gonna start the audiobook though first because my husband has my kids, they went fishing. I just have my youngest son who's two, he's here, he's playing and I have to get some cleaning done. I have about five water bottles next to my end table that should not be there and that's a little ridiculous. So I'm going to um, handle that and then get my clothes put away. I'm not gonna show you that because that's embarrassing. Um, yeah, I have a lot of cleaning to do. So that's my plan, I'm going to listen to the book and then, yeah, it's about a 12 hour audiobook too. So I'm gonna try to speed it up a little bit. Hopefully I can get it done in eight. I'm not a super big fan of audiobooks, So I'm trying to listen to them more because I feel like I can be a lot more productive when I do listen to them. And lately it's been really hard for me to sit down and actually read. I haven't had a lot of time. So we're going with it. I hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend. And by the time you see this, it will be the week. I hope your week's going great. You know what I mean. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy this vlog. Good morning. Um, it's like seven o'clock in the morning here on Monday the 21st. I wanted to check in because I'm on chapter nine of The Viscount Who Loved Me and I'm actually enjoying it a lot so far, which says a lot because I'm not a historical reader by any means at all. And it's actually like keeping me entertained. We are following Anthony and Kate and Edwina. Kate and Edwina are stepsisters. Their father died and now Kate's stepmother is raising her and her stepsister. I'm really happy with the fact that um, she's not like a mean stepmother. So it's not like they don't have this good relationship and it makes me happy that, I don't know. I'm not getting Cinderella vibes from it, okay? Like where, you know, because her father died and that was the one thing that tied them together. Like she still feels like she has a family and she, she owes it to her sister to approve of the person that she marries. So Kate is basically like what you would call the ugly duckling of the family. Not necessarily ugly, but looked past. And her sister is the one who men chase after. She's always the one who they felt like would be courted first before Kate, even though Kate is older. 
and um, yeah, Kate is the clumsy one. Kate is the one who's not well rehearsed. She doesn't try to fit in and blend in with the culture of everything. And she is very much her own person and speaks up. And whereas Edwina is uh, blonde, blue eyed, beautiful, like perfectly trained to have the perfect etiquette. She's just flawless in that sense. And Kate is not. <laughs> It has been chosen for Edwina that she is to be courted and she goes to this event where she basically has to try to find a husband. And they're hoping that the Viscount will be the husband for her. Anthony is a Viscount due to his father's death and his father is someone that he's admired his entire life and kind of was put in a position that he wasn't ready for but has done it well and has always been kind of a player. He said he's always had mistresses on the side and never really wanted to settle down for love. Well, finally figured now's the time to get married, to procreate, and then to die because his father died a sudden death of a bee sting. His uncle died at a young age, so he kind of thinks he's in the same realm moving forward that his father and his uncle went through. He puts his sights on Edwina, and um, Edwina is very adamant that she wants to have her sister Kate's approval. So we are following this entire situation and it is very much enemies to lovers because Kate does not want Edwina to marry Anthony. She's doing everything in her power to stop it and she's doing everything in her power to convince Anthony to pick someone else and leave her sister alone. So it's not really working because Anthony is very strong-willed and so is Kate at the same time and there's a lot of stupid choices that are being made that are a little frustrating and I will say the one thing that really bothers me about Anthony is that he acts as if he can have what he wants and he doesn't have to ask for it. And just because he's the Viscount and that really pisses me off. And he just feels like he's God's gift to man and he can just, if he wants her, he's gonna have her and nobody will stop him. And I get it, but I don't like it. And he's very pushy and very assertive in sometimes and that's not, I'm not a fan of that, okay? But whereas Kate, sometimes it's annoying because it, it's like her say is everything. And I hate that Edwina doesn't really have a backbone. And the only thing she really says is, I want him to be a scholar and to be smart. And that's just like, Kate, okay, that's not good enough. <laughs> like, why are you putting all of your hope and all of your like acceptance in from what your sister thinks? So we're following this journey between all of them. And yeah, so they're still very enemies. Um, they're kind of growing to be friends, which you can see. And I like that. Um, there's been a couple instances where they've really seen how much they have in common and how much they actually could relate to each other if they tried to be civil. So that part I'm enjoying. And I think that there's potential for a better friendship between them. So we all know where it's going. Can you hear my kids fighting in the background? I hope not. I am about to take my kids to school and then I'm gonna go to the gym and then I think I'm gonna go get my nails done because it's been about four weeks and I'm tired of green. So that's that's my plan. I look pretty bad right now. So it's really embarrassing that I show myself like this, but it's fine. I'm just gonna get, just go with it. This is just me, okay? I'll touch you soon. I'm in love with a Viscount and I don't care who knows it. What? Okay. I freaking love Anthony. I love him. Guys, I want to read every historical book in the entire world now because Anthony, mm, something about his humor too, that is so attractive. I love it. I, I freaking love this book. I love it. Guys, I was so worried because I'm like, okay, I don't like I don't like historicals like uh, well I haven't found one that I liked I really haven't read that many so I guess I can't really say that but I want to read more I'm about to go read the whole Bridgerton series I should do that he's so cute this book okay I finished it I haven't said that yet I finished it and I freaking loved it I'm gonna give it four stars though because like, he bothered me a little bit in the beginning, but, like, the last half of the book, I loved. I just loved. I have no other words. I just loved it. I loved it. I love the entire family. Like, now I can't freaking wait for season two. Like, here we go. Let's go. Let's start it now. I've been missing out. I've been missing out.
I'm in love with a Viscount and I don't care who knows it. Just kidding, I'm married. I love my husband, but I just love him in my head. I don't really have anything else to say for this reading vlog other than that is my review. This book has been great. Um, the entire dynamic of the family and then the outsiders like making their way and knowing everybody's business and Lady Whistledown. I love it. It's awesome. It's just perfect. I can't say anything else. I just love it. I kind of want to move there, maybe live there, get me a yellow poofy dress and just call it a day. Call me Lady Cheyenne down. That was so freaking stupid. Um, I'm just really excited. Now I can't wait to watch it. I'm gonna be in a hotel on Friday. So my friend Chelsea and I were like, okay, we'll go to like an early dinner and then we'll go back to the hotel early or we could sit at the hot tub and like stream it and watch it there. How freaking fun. Like have margaritas and sit by the hot tub and watch Bridgerton. Okay, that's my kind of weekend. So wish you guys could be there with me because that would be so fun to have like a bunch of girls and all hang out and like stream it live. Too bad Tori and Sam and Jess and I all live in totally different places or I'd be like, oh, we should all do it together. That would be so fun. So this is the end of my vlog. Um, I have nothing else to say other than I loved this book. I can't wait to watch the premiere. And if you're watching this, then it's premiere day. You've probably already watched it by now. Probably gonna go call my husband and tell him he needs to be a Viscount somehow. Take me to London. Make me some tea. Tell me you burn for me. Just kidding. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.